In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of the drill down and drill through features in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fenan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So drill down and drill through features in Power BI allows your users to explore your data points with just a few clicks. And it can often be easily missed because it's not such a prominent feature. So today I thought I'd cover how these two work. First thing to know is that drills require a hierarchy. So let's use this example report th that I prepared for you today. This report contains tables with details of sales of a fictional company, Northwind Traders, which sells grocery products internationally. So you will see here we have details about the orders like how much they paid for the product and how many. We have information about the products themselves, what they're called. We have details of the orders, like who ordered them and when they ordered them. We have details about customers, like where they belong to and which company they are from. And lastly, we have a table categorizing the products. Using Power BI Desktop, we created a relationship across all of these different tables in order to visualize them into our report. I created a measure table called calculations, which just houses a measure here. And this simply calculates the total sales from our orders, order details table, and it simply just multiplies the unit price and quantity to get the total price like this. So if we drag um, the total sales here as a clustered chart, and, it's, and if we took and brought the country as an axis, so you will see in this chart that USA is the top leader for sales. So as a user, you might be curious which parts of the USA contributed to this. This is what the drill down enables you to do. So as I mentioned, drills require a hierarchy. So in this case, you want to add city under the country axis here. So that adds a hierarchy in our axis. You'll know that the drill down is working when you can see these arrows on the top right here. You can have different hierarchies in your data. So the date hierarchy is a good example. When you have auto date time enabled in your Power BI reports, you will see that a date hierarchy will be automatically created for you. So anytime you want to visualize dates, you can simply drag that into a visual like let's say a clustered chart and if we show total sales you can simply start visualizing this and having the hierarchy already set up for you you can create your own hierarchy by simply right clicking on a column and selecting create hierarchy you can rename this hierarchy something meaningful and you can add more columns or fields in this hierarchy. So for example, we have region here. Let's say we want to add the country as well. So we're going to add to hierarchy to the location hierarchy. So actually in our hierarchy, I didn't want the region. So I'm going to simply delete it. And I wanted to add city. So add to hierarchy location like this. So now you have a hierarchy. Now what this will do is if we remove the axis here and simply use location, you will see that you will achieve the same thing, except you don't have to redo the hierarchy every time you visualize it. So when you use hierarchies in visuals, normally we'll show the fields on the top level of your hierarchy. Then the levels below will generally be more detailed towards that top level. You can use drill downs on the majority of the default visuals available in Power BI Desktop. You'll know when it works if you drag a hierarchy in a visual and it will show up all the drill options on the top right. 
You can drill down your hierarchy two ways. One is by toggling the drill down button. When this is not toggled, when you click on the visual, you will do highlighting, which will cross highlight and cross filter any of the other visuals in your page. If you instead toggle that drill down option, when you select a bar in your bar chart, it will simply drill down into that hierarchy. You can keep clicking on the bars to go down deeper in your hierarchy, or you can go up by clicking the drill up button here. Toggling the drill down will disable that feature. Another way you can drill down your visuals is by simply right clicking and then drill down. If you want to simply jump onto the next level in the hierarchy, you can use these two arrows here. It will just bring you to the next level. So here, for example, we're listing out oldest cities. So sometimes your hierarchies may concatenate. So to disable that, not in this visual, but for example, if we had it as a clustered chart, for example, you can disable that under the X axis concatenate labels. And you will see that if we now sort it by country, you will see that it will organize and group those data accordingly. When you drill down in your data, it still affects other visuals in your page. So for example, here we have the USA drilled down in our total sales by country. You, you will notice as well that in our visual here, the total sales by year is also affected. So now it's only showing the total sales for the country USA. You can adjust how the drill downs affect other visuals in the page by simply going to the data slash drill ribbon menu here on the top and then changing this option from the entire page to selected visual. You can also disable how a visual interacts with other visuals in your page by simply going to format, edit interactions, and then simply disabling the link between the visuals. So if you now disable edit interactions and you select anything in this report or in this visual, you will notice that the visual on the left hand side will not get affected. Drill throughs allow you to further filter your data by giving users the ability to jump into other pages and filter them based on their selections. Using this same example, we can create a new page here. We can add details like, I don't know, sales by date, for example. We can just show year and month like this. And we can even show, just as an example, just in more information about the total sales themselves. So the orders, details order ID, how much they ordered, the unit price, what was the product, maybe that's a good, good one. So this page will basically be our drill through page. So from this page, you will see that there is a well on the visualizations pane here, add drill through fields here. So if we simply drag total sales into this well, it will add a button here on the top left, which just, which just allows you to go back to uh, the page that you were at before. And this transforms this page into a drill through page. This means that any visual in your report that uses total sales can be drilled through in detail to this page. So for example, if we go back to our initial page here, both of these visuals use total sales as a measure. So if you right click on any of these, like for example, let's right click here on the total sales by year, you will notice a drill through option that will allow you to drill through to that second page. And when you select that, it will redirect your users to this page with the pre filtered options that they have selected in the drill through. So now you will see the total sales for that year 1998, along with all the orders that were made in 1998 and how it got the total value of 469,000 pounds in sales. 
So you will see details of the orders themselves, which products were ordered and how much for. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start taking advantage of the drill down and drill through options in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.